Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor is due to Yahweh, Ahashom, Yahweh Shai, Ahashom, Achah Kodash, Double Amas, the Apostles, Elders, Bishops, Teachers of Great Millstone, and the like minded men who may not be directly part of Great Millstone, but are pushing the same doctrine given to the Apostles, uh, from Apostle Tahar on down, initially from their teachers of One West, and um, from Yahweh Bashim Yashai through the Spirit of, through Elder Abba Bivins, yeah, from Yahweh Bashim Yashai, always. Yahweh is the Salakia. Um, Yahweh is the name, the true name of the Heavenly Father, not Jehovah, meaning He is, He exists, and Yahweh Shai, the true name of His only begotten Son, not Jesus, Yahweh Shai, meaning He is salvation, He saves, He delivers, He's coming to save His elect. Again, I would say most of my lessons, Matthew 24, chapter 30, 30, 30 to 31, first verse, where he's coming to return and redeem or save his elect. Yeah. Um, the salutations to the Akimun Akwath of Ba'af Dawada, that's the men, women, men, women of the house of David, and also children of the house of David, um, who are predestined to be saved in these last days. I'm going to get straight to the point here, Lord's will, it's um, edifying. Um, these 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 Edomites are so proud, especially Amalek. So I'm just going to start off with this scripture first. Um, seen an article today that it was Noah Yoel of Ari. I can't I'll never say his name correctly. It's coming off with some madness about AI. But anyway, let's start with the scriptures. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High Yahweh. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Now read it in the NLT. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness and power. As the scriptures say, he traps the wise in the snare of their own cleverness. Yeah? It's this word wisdom. Sophia. That's the Greek word, Sophia. In the wisdom, broad and full of intelligence, use of the knowledge to of very diverse matters. Fulfillment, yeah. That's what I want. Charles D, 4678. Sophia. Sophia. Wisdom, broad and full of intelligence, use of knowledge of very diverse matters, the wisdom that belongs to men. <laughs> you know, um, the varied knowledge of things human and divine, acquired by acuteness and experience and summed up. So we get it. Science means to know and learning, yeah? The wisdom is found in the scriptures. Simple as that. Yeah, um, we want... Craftiness. Cunning craftiness. And who was the cunning hunter? Esau. Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. And one of his tools of one of his tools of hunting is going to be through his technology, hunting the souls of men through the technology. Yeah. His working is after the coming of Satan. Um in fact, let me just get this as well. Because this fool, Noah Hova Lawari, whatever his name is. Let me do it this way. Search. Okay. And, um, here we are. Proverbs 14. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Here with me a sec. Yeah, there we are. Psalm 14 and 1, the, um, the chief, to the chief musician, the Psalm of David, the Song of David. The fool have said in his heart, there is no God, power, Yahweh. They are corrupt, they are have, have done abominable works, there is none that doeth good. Yeah. The reason why I'm saying it is this, through the scriptures, through the spirit.
Give me a second, we'll go to come up, start it again, go to website. Get patients. <clears throat> I think it's reload. Let's see if it fixes the internet where I'm at. It's just messing up. Well, I'll just be patient in it. We will get it. There we are. Right. Here we are. The headlines in Daily Mail as of yesterday. Um, an article. I think it was speaking of what Yuval Noah Harari said. Could chat GPT create a new religion? <laughs> There's only one power, and that's Yahweh, and it's on Yahweh Shai. Yeah, who's giving all judgment to? Yeah. Um, read that in Second First Corinthians 15th chapter. Yeah, if, among all the scriptures. The world is on the verge of contemporary faith. That's basically modern day contemporary. Faith started by an AI writing its own sacred text, story, and claims. <laughs> wow. Yuval Noah Harari said AI, like Chat GPT, could attract worshippers to a new faith. Wow. The devil is coming out. Academics said AI had crossed new frontier had crossed new frontier by gaining mastery of our language. The world is on the verge of a new religion created by artificial intelligence. Basically, um, so who created the artificial intelligence? He, obviously, Habashim Yashai gave um, Esau Edom the, the know with all the knowledge to, to do it. Yeah, so, so all things are of the Lord. Yeah, but Esau is a complete demon, Esau Edom. The historian Yuval Noah Harari has claimed. Let me go into this word AI. It's interesting. Cause... Yeah, because it is actually in the Bible. Erica AI. Two. And I didn't really have any scriptures to um, go to the uh, right hand, any scripture directly. It's going through the spirit. AI. Look at the meaning of AI. <laughs> See, look, AI, or so it says AI, or AI, or Ayat, or Hai, heap of ruins. And that's what you saw is going to end up in the heap of ruins. Yeah. City laying east of Bethel, and besides, so basically, it's going to be a heap of ruins. Yeah. Simple as after um, you saw Edom introduces and made, makes mandatory the MOTB, yeah, the, the destruction is going to come through the World War Three. then Yehoshua's return as the nukes are flying to save his elect and to just put an end to this place, man, because it's completely gone. Yeah, Esau is a proud man. All right, so here we go. Let me go to Obadiah. A heap of ruins. <laughs> yeah. Obadiah, Obadiah. Wow. I'm going to get straight to the point. You know, we've read these scriptures before. Um, the pride of thine heart, in fact, so let's start from one. The vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord power, Yahweh, concerning Edom, and who is um, Esau is Edom. Um, Genesis 36, chapter, first verse, yeah. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, Yahweh, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen, Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Yeah, so what's, what the head, what does the headline say? Edom will be humbled. Yeah, it will be humbled. Humbled. Through the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh, when Yahweh returns, um, Isaiah 63rd chapter, Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Bozrah? Yeah, glorious in his apparel. Wow. Yeah. So I'm actually looking at um, a bit of a side note, looking at the news here. Kremlin drone attack was 
Yeah, so there's been a drone attack on the Kremlin. I think it happened a few hours ago. So, you know, we're in that time. Wars, rumors and wars. Um, beginning of sorrows. And Esau, Eden is divided on all levels. Yeah, they're going to get brought down. Simple as. A yeah, house divided against itself cannot stand. And if Satan be divided, how can he stand? Simple as that. Paraphrasing. Um, Mark, the chapter 25th verse. Yeah. We jump down to Obadiah 1 and 3. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock. His habitation is high, the safe in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground. Yeah, because they think that the houses shall live, live, live. They think they're going to live forever. Let me get that. All right. And all this technology that they're going to bring through, is going to, they're going to succeed in their enterprise, which they won't go to Job. Fifth chapter, the talk verse, you know, for understanding on that. The inward thought, Psalm 49 and 11. The inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. That's just a side um, note to show you that these Edomites and these elites think that they are going to um, be in rulership forever, but they're not. Simple as the Haobash Miyoshai is going to um, tear them down when that time comes, when all these words are fulfilled. Yeah, um, where, where am I going? I'm going to go to Ezekiel 28th chapter. This is how I think. Mm. The word of the Lord Yahweh came again unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, and this. Um, Scripture can be attributed to Esau, Edom, and the elites and the Malachites and all those um, so-called elite families now, because are, not, are they not ruling this place? Simple as the earth, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, Job nine and twenty-four. You know, covered with the faces of judges, judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? <clears throat> Esau, Edom is the border of wickedness. Um, Malachi first chapter, third and fourth verse. So, back to the scriptures, Ezekiel 28 and 2. Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, because thine heart is lifted up, and thou art said, I am a God of power. I sit in the seat of power, in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man, and not the most high, though thou set thine heart as the heart of God. Yeah? Behold, how wiser than Daniel, there is no secret that they can hide from thee. You know, with thy wisdom and with thine understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches and hast gotten thee gold, gotten gold and silver unto thy treasures. Yeah. And because of those wishes, the hearts are lifted up. Yeah. And they set themselves as the most high, as um, um, the, the, the verse 6 goes into. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of the Most High, behold, therefore I will bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall defile thy brightness. So they're going to get brought down. You know, um, um, Isaiah 14 goes into that. Is this the man that would make the earth to tremble? Yeah. This is um, where they're going because they think they're the most high. Simple as. They think that they've got all the power. You know, Isaiah 10 goes into it. So many scriptures are coming to my mind. Yeah, it's like the, the rod boasting, boasting itself or the axe boasting itself. That's what Esau Edom is. You know, Isaiah 10 chapter goes into that. Yeah. I'm not going to read the article. Lord's I'm just going to put um, the article in the description box because it's not even... This man said some madness. Because he even said, oh, um, the, the most high and everything's a fake news. So I'm just going to end it with this scripture here. So like if I was all over the place, but I thought I'd just get, get it out. And um, Yeah, I want to start um, Second Thessalonians 2 and 3. 
Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there shall not come except there come a falling away first, and the nation of Israel fell away. Simple as that, you know, from um, 70 AD um, all the way up until captivity, oh, to the slave trade of both northern and southern kingdom. You know, up until um, the, the, the Habash Mashai put his breath into um, the elect, the elect men, the prophets, you know, starting from Elder Abba Bivins to this day, you know, that, that Ezekiel 37 goes into that. The breath being put back on the, um, into the dry bones. Yeah. So these bones live. And so if it wasn't for the spirit of Yahweh, you know, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be looking at these articles and this news and knowing, you know, what the truth is. We'd be just going along with it in darkness, in utter darkness. So Thawada, Yahweh, Barasham, Yahweh, for allowing us to, to see these things and we're, what time we're living in. You know, it's the end of this man's reign. Um, so they shall not be cut. There come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Yeah, and I read it in the uh, um, NLT. Don't be fooled, but what they say, by what they say, for that day will not come until there is a great rebellion against the Most High. And that goes off a bit. And the man of lawlessness is revealed. Yeah, he was a man of lawlessness. He saw Edom. Yeah, from Hebrews 12 and 16. Yeah. One kids outside the temple, the one who brings destruction. Um, go back to the KJV, um, Second Thessalonians two and four, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worshipped, so that he is, so he as the Most High set in the temple of the Most High is a temple. The Israelites, yeah, showing himself that he is God. You have power. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. Wow. So it was revealed at that time as well, but definitely now, 100%, we know who that son of perdition is, that man of sin, which is Esau Edom, the so-called white man, the Caucasians. Yeah. And just because you look like that doesn't mean you are. You know, got, we've got Israelites looking like um, Edomites, simple as that. As as um, on the other hand, we've got people who have got darker skin who are Edomites. It's, you know, these are the facts, right? So it's about the spirit, simple as spirit bear witness. The Confess two and seven. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. The Yahweh is given Esau Edom his time, his um, short time, you know, going to Revelation 20th chapter to, to rule. But now, time is at an end. Simple as that. This is why the prophecies are popping, prophecies are popping off like popcorn. <sighs> wow. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. That's what the prophets are doing on the highways and by, byways on a weekly basis, daily basis with the videos and the sit downs. Yeah. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Yeah. <laughs> wow. These scriptures are heavy, man. Um, when Yahushai returns, it's going to do with him. It's going to take Yahushai one hour and read Revelation 18th chapter. I think it's around about the sixth verse. No, um, could be the ninth. But anyway, definitely Revelation 18. Yeah. Even who's, I'm going to get that um, one hour. I've got to get that and I'll get back to this. I'm going to take you, I one hour. Eighteen and ten. Standing afar off to fear of the torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Yeah. Right, Revelation 18 and 17. But in one hour, so so great riches has come to naught, and every shipmaster and all this company and ships and sailors and as many as the trade by sea stood afar off. Yeah. I'm going to read this one as well. Revelation 18 and 19. And they cast dust on their heads in the in mourning and cried weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that. That great city wherein um, 
were made rich, all that had ships in the sea, by reason of her costliness. But in one hour, she is made desolate. When Yahushua returns, Esau Edom is going to be taken out in one hour. You can go into Revelation 12 for that, but in more detail, you can find it in the um, second address, the 13th chapter. All right, so I'm going to end it with this past, next couple of verses. Um, second Thessalonians 2 and 9. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. And this here is a lying wonder. Yeah. That there and Esau Edom and his techno technology, which was given to him, you know, by Yahweh Shimi Shai. Anyway, so. <laughs> right. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they are received, they they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Now Esau Edom will not be saved. Um, by Yahweh when he returns, only the elect of the nation of Israel shall be saved. With that, Lord's will, this was edifying. Uh, I was a bit all over the place, but so lucky for that. Um, we really didn't write down any scriptures. I went in spirit. So I'm going to say Shalom to the elect and the hopeful elect. Kwame Sharala and Abad Babal. Shalom.